known as Double G, Dave the Garden Guy knows it all when it comes to super simple gardening. And you have a brilliant, I have to tell you, a brilliant idea for planting an organic vegetable garden. And it's in easy. a bag. That's right. And what you want to do is you just take some compost bag just like his. Okay. okay. So a couple of them, ideally, you can go and raise it up to six inches with one. But you know what? You might want to go two just to kind of get it off and out of the soil line. Because what happens with soil, well, once you get it off the soil line, it's basically a lot more sustained type environment there. Why? Because frost is always lowest to the ground. Heat is usually lowest to the ground. Oh, so what okay. we want to do is we'll just take a bag similar to what you're looking here. And about how here, big is this bag? You know what? You're looking at about a three cubic foot bag here. And ideally, what you want to do is you just cut out the bag to about, oh, anywhere from three to four inches around the edges. That's what you want to do first off. Okay. What we're going to also do is we're going to add one more bag up, up on top. Okay, can you flip it over because I like the way the other one looks. Okay, we will do that for you and we'll flip it over. Because of we course. do want it to look good, right? We do want it to look good. Okay. Okay, then we're going to go ahead and cut this off. Now, this is a real simple process. Once we cut this off, okay, this is our growing space. We can grow fairly intensively in here. Hand me over that rebar here for a second, right okay. behind you. All right. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take this rebar. Now you notice we didn't cut the portion off right, the bottom. Right, I was, I was wondering well, how Well, we got to make sure this drains. Okay. So, and we want to make sure the roots actually penetrate through this. So we'll just go ahead, oh. take a piece of rebar, and we're puncturing all the way through both bags. Okay. Okay. So you need to be in a place where it can go through the bottom of the bag. Absolutely. Okay. You if you need to move it later, you can. You can but you're easily. You have a lot of drainage. You so will have plenty of drainage. Mind. You can just treat it just like, well, just like a pot or anything along sure, those lines. And sure. eventually, a lot of these plants are going to spill over, so you're not going to see this bag at all. It'll be so intensively growing. This will be the situation you want, okay. especially when you're growing a raised bed. Now, next, what you want to do is you want to start thinking about planting. Okay. There's a lot of different types of plants you want to use, but you can plant this over some, well, what there you, you go. What did you bring? Well, we got some squash here. Ooh, I like okay, squash. Okay, and the crew cut, yeah, crookneck squash and some Ooh, zucchini peppers. and some peppers. Now, all you're going to add are two things Ooh. right behind you. A little bit of extreme juice or any type of organic fertilizer. That's going to stimulate the microbiotic activity in the soil. That microbiotic activity in the soil is what feeds all these plants. And of course, water. Okay. Now, <laughs> moisture easy. is real important. And what you got to do is you got to make sure that the moisture basically stays at what we call sustained levels. This will dry out mm. fairly quickly. Okay. So, a once a day watering, maybe if you're in the desert southwest, might uh -huh. be appropriate. But maybe if you're up in the Midwest or Northwest, you might want to water every two to three days. But after that, you're on your way towards a great little raised bed for virtually no money at all. And you know, here's what I love about it. It's a garden in a bag. So, I mean, it doesn't get any super simpler than that right there. It's organic. It's good for you. You can feel good about what you've eaten and the fact that you yeah, grew, grew it yourself. Grew it yourself. I love it. Thank you, Double G. Thank you, girl. Appreciate it. See you later.